And good morning, everybody. It's time now for Putnam County Today here on 94.3 WREB. With us today, Hope Jordan from Bagos. Hello. The new little coffee shop in town. Mm -hmm. And I guess, tell us a little bit about how it got its start, and then we'll go into what's coming up. All right. Um, so, uh, Bagos was started by a small group that we actually have on campus called Coffee in Christ. We meet every Tuesday night, um, 9 to 10 p.m., and it's usually a group of 30 to 50 students that come out and hear a different speaker every week. And um, it's just a great place for dialogue and discussion and um, just a nice time to hang out with a good crew. So um, that's grown into a larger vision of a creative arts center. And so that's why we have the coffee shop and the creative arts center downtown. So we also have live music during the week and things like that. Gus Moon is performing tonight, a local band. So great. those aren't necessarily like faith-based events. They, they do support the arts. Um, but yeah, Coffee in Christ is our staple on Tuesday nights. All right. Well, it sounds yeah. pretty good. And, uh, you know, it's really nice because you, you don't really have prices there, right? Right. Yep. So we're a nonprofit. So when people come in and buy our Jameson coffee, so local brewer, um, it's just a suggested donation of a dollar or two. It's really up to them. Um, some people are very generous and will leave more and really, we're really thankful for that. But um, otherwise, if you don't come in with any money, I mean, that's fine. You're not going to turn away. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, tell us, you guys have a lot of different things going on. Is there anything coming up in the future that you'd like to let people know about? Uh, yeah, we just had uh, an event actually, um, an arts event this past Friday um, that we talked about when we were here before. Right. But the ones coming up, so um, we have open mics every first Wednesday of the month um, with Jeremy Black. He's our property manager, so right. that worked out. And then um, the Student Arts Council should have open mics coming up. Um, we're going to work with them to schedule some more. Um, and then we only have a few weeks left of school. So right. we've got Coffee was... Christ every Tuesday. And then next year, next school year, we'd like to have an Art and Canvas event. Um, and I think May 3rd, we're going to have a local artist do an exhibition at the space. So Great. Um, those are some of the things coming up. In My next question <laughs> had to do with you, uh, you know, because you think schools are getting ready to end here at mm -hmm. the first part of May. What happens to the coffee shop? Does it, do you actually just shut it down for the summer? Or? Yeah, so we're still trying to work that out right now. So this okay. is the first six months of the lease. So, um, you know, we've been, uh, been approached by someone in town who may want to... I uh, use it as well in the summer. Um, we're also going to talk to churches to see if they want to run like vacation Bible schools or any sort of youth programs um, over the summer in the space. So oh, cool. um, we're still working that out. We're actually meeting with the owner next week um, to hopefully re-sign re um, the lease for the next school year. So All right. we're, we're shifting that out right now. But, and you know, yeah. we're coming down to the end of your school year and things are going pretty quick, aren't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. that's that's another thing. Yeah. Where Where's the coffee shop located? It's at 11 North Indiana Street, um, on the square right between Old National and where the old Goodwill used to be, mm -hmm. um, kind of a block from Starbucks, basically. So. All right. <laughs> now, can anybody in the uh, community come in, or is this just for DePaul students? Absolutely. Um, we're open 7 to 10 p.m. each night, and it's a good mix of community members and students that come in each time we're open. So, um, yeah, really open to anyone. A uh, big supporter of ours is Ray Bartlett. Mm -hmm. um, he He's even done like a guitar workshop impromptu type thing and um, he'll come in a lot. Uh, James is another guy who works at the library. He comes in almost every single night. So um, yeah, and it's family friendly too. We've, Great. we've had kids come in and um, last Friday they were painting in the space and enjoying the music. So by all means. I've had it. <laughs> All right. Well, it sounds like you guys are off to a good start. Yeah. And, uh, of course, you know, we look forward to when you guys come back, you know, next fall. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, hopefully we can use that space then throughout the summertime yeah. too, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's if cool. anybody needs to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Absolutely. Um, so we, we have a Facebook, Bagos Coffee Shop. Um, you can just post right on our page. Um, BagosGreenCastle at gmail.com is our email address. Um, we have a landline phone, but <laughs> nobody ever calls that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so those would be the two best ways. So Bagos, um, Bagos Green Castle at gmail.com and then Bagos Coffee Shop. And um, you can also find us on Instagram and just 
check out what's going on. So, Great. Yeah. Well, we wish you guys the very best, and of course, congratulations to you. You're getting ready to graduate, right? <laughs> Almost there. You're almost done. I know. <laughs> so now comes the real world, right? Right. It's going to be crazy. All right. Hope, thanks so much. And, uh, you know, hopefully people will get to be able to use that space this summer Absolutely. while you guys are off on your vacations. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Don't forget, if you're a nonprofit group or community organization, you'd like some free airtime here on WRUV, you too can be a part of Putnam County today. Give us a call at 653-9717.